So I used to travel quite a bit for work through airports. I was always looking out for wrestlers when I was there. Flew out of Chicago a lot. Never saw you, but I did have a couple fun encounters. My favorite one was I got a call from a buddy who was in an airport one time, and he was whispering. And he said, uh, listen to this. And I said, where are you at? And he said, the airport. And he said, just listen. And I listen, and in the background, I hear this. Oh, oh. And I said, dude, where are you at? And he goes, I'm in the bathroom at the airport. And the Iron Cheek is giving himself a little bath in the sink. And uh, he snapped a picture with his phone and sent it to me, and we had a good, pretty good laugh about that. I wonder what era Iron Sheik that was. Was it like crackhead 80s Iron Sheik, crackhead 90s Iron Sheik, crackhead 2000s Iron Sheik, or like adorable 2010s Grandpa Iron Sheik? Curious on that one. This caller did give a couple of other stories from the airport with wrestlers, but it was just like I saw this guy, I saw this guy. They weren't really stories. So I picked out what was visually the most entertaining to me in my head is Iron Sheik giving himself a little bird bath, washing up a little bit, maybe some water underneath the pits, maybe t-shirt off in the bathroom. I can only assume he's Iron Sheik. He does whatever he wants. I do hope this encourages more Iron Sheik stories. I feel just like the Virgil, the Iron Sheik probably has some great stories of people all across the world. I know in the locker rooms, Iron Sheik stories were passed around for years that were just so absurd and bizarre. So feel free to call those in. But for now, we'll take Iron Sheik, give himself a little bath in the bathroom. Hey, thanks for watching. That call was part of a whole podcast called Wrestling Anonymous. Listen to the whole thing weekly. Wherever you listen to your podcast, go subscribe. And while you're at it, subscribe right here on YouTube to Colt Cabana's channel. Thank you.